welcome back. If you're joining me from another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have my next video in my Poopsie week, which is the Poopsie Surprise Llama. I saw them on being opened on other channels, and of course, because it's Poopsie, my fa current favourite toy line, I had to have them both. So, unfortunately, like the un unlike the unicorns, I should say, where you could cheat I show in my unicorn video how you can do it and see which unicorn you are getting by the color of their hair you cannot do that with the llamas the llamas it's a great mystery I was slightly surprised that they made this change given the cost of the product is quite a large one now by in New Zealand um, down on special I think you get them for $75 each a $75 blind bag is not something that would attract many people to a product. Now in the unicorns, um, you could get them down to $75. I think they started in the $100 range and on special down to $75. But there was a chance of looking through the top and seeing which one you could get. So you were able to give your daughter a blind bag that effectively wasn't a blind bag and she was going to get super excited because you got the one that she wanted and it would be a great big celebration and it would encourage you to buy in your child because your child would be excited encourage you to buy more of the line however I am they made it so there is no way of cheating there is a way of getting into the bottom that I found basically by moving around but I cannot see anything in there there was no way that I could tell for myself maybe someone else had worked out how to do it but unless I was pretty much ripping the whole thing apart I can't see which unicorn was inside as such because of this I did end up with a double up you can see that these have had the uh, the clear covering taken off them because I wanted to make sure that I had both one of each unicorn to show here but I ended up with two white ones from my first purchase so just be aware that when you're purchasing this product you are either going to get the pink one or the white one and as far as I'm concerned unless someone else has come up with a way of hacking by barcode or something special on the packaging which does happen in toy products sometimes they put like a little mark on the on the product so that the company can identify which product was inside it um, I haven't seen anything you can get Bonnie Blanca or Pearly Fluff as I said I want them both and I end up with, with two of Bonnie Blanca because of this rather expensive blind bag I don't know which one is in which because I close it up and kind of mess them around <laughs> so it's going to be a surprise which one I open and of course I get the joy of taking them out I'm going to go with the one closest to me let's bring it up here it is a large soda can we have the poopsie logo up here the little dripping logo we have a carry case for it big soda can lots of colors love the rainbow swirl I'm wondering if there is going to be a second wave of llamas given that the unicorns had their first wave with two golden horns the second wave was two silver horns I don't know I'm actually hoping that they'll be using different animals each time they bring out a wave of these big ones okay but enough rambling let's get on to the point here is where you're meant to open it you have two arrows indicating you need to pull it apart oh give it a bit of a yank I can't see it yet you probably can see it before me which one am I opening first oh, here I am I am opening pearly fluff had to look up her name I know Bonnie Blake <laughs> I was like which one's the pink one again pearly fluff absolutely gorgeous toy I am not doing the slime element if you want to know why you can uh, check out my first unicorn opening slime is not a good thing to mess around with <laughs> so they come with the potty underneath just like the unicorns they come sitting on their potty their surprises rather than being twirled around the package which I thought was a really cool sort of way of doing it is instead encased on the other side here so before we get pearly out let's look at the surprises right down to here I'm guessing this big one is the nappy oh, <laughs> how cute is this oh, I wish they'd done this on the unicorn I really hope they bring out clothing accessories I'd be quite interested in buying different clothing accessories 
Look at this done in like designer gear for the llama's unicorn. We've got some poops, we've got some flowers, some question marks. She has gold pins to match her horn. This is actually very reminiscent of a, um, a Louis Vuitton bag I have. <laughs> I wonder if that is the inspiration for this one. Because they have done Pui Vuitton. Cute. Off to the side here, we have a long one. I'm just going to make an educated guess and think that this is the spoon, but is it going to come out? Hello? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Please come out! I don't know how to pull it out. Oh, it's there. oh okay, it's got tack tacky glue behind there. I'm just going to guess that this is the spoon, which on the unicorns isn't actually done as a surprise. It is. So the idea being that when you get the spoon, if you would just like to get in focus for me camera, hello, there we go. When you feed her the ingredients for slime, if you put it to the back of the throat, it hits the side and then it turns to deposit it into her tummy. Again, I'm going to make the slime in an easier way and not go through the process of having to clean the doll in the inside because I did not enjoy that at all. Prizes in here. Pull. Oh. All right, we got something here. Do, do, do. I actually only watched one opening of the unicorn surprises. Oh, okay. the next surprise is the cup again in the unicorn one. This wasn't actually a surprise. This just came in the package next to her as one of the necessary things for the uh, for the slime making process. So it's interesting that they've added these as surprises i wonder if to um basically increase the amount of surprises you're meant to open <laughs> marketing is very smart and there i always say watch out for marketing words because they'll get you where they can like when something is limited edition i've always said limited edition to what what number Okay, so this is effectively Rainbow Bright Stars keychain. So the same sort of setup as Rainbow Bright Stars keychain and colors, except she's covered in glitter. Oh, that's adorable. That is so incredibly cute. My daughter's going to be so happy. She loves the Poopsie um, keychains. So that one is going to go to her collection. So sparkly. The last surprise up here, now this t-shirt, which was a surprise in the unicorns, is actually on the llama. So it's a bit of a changing up here, but I would have actually preferred it to be that the t-shirt was a surprise and these two things weren't, like the unicorns. I think they've, they've, I don't know whether it was because of space or whatever that they mixed that up. I would have rather had the t-shirt, but that's just personal preference and doesn't really take away from the toy in any sort of way. And what's in here though? Oh yes, of course! Barclays like the little Wendy girl. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? This is one of my favorite accessories that comes with them. Um, I love these little cups. As I've stated in the other video, I would love to see them make these in a smaller size for 18 inch dolls, 16 inch dolls, even teeny tiny little ones that you are <laughs> <laughs> that you could use with the sparkly critters etc I would absolutely buy them it has a light pink swirl up here with a happy little face how cute is that and then the Wendy's girl down here and the reds with this gorgeous smile of a red llama if they brought out a red llama I'd have to have it red is actually my favorite color red and gold she's got a gold <laughs> on there it's my favorite combination as well so it says sparklies instead of Wendy's and it's got this little shimmer above all here so this is meant to be for the slime making process you can feed it to the llama which brings me to the next thing I don't see any slime packets like the unicorns do you are they somewhere else let me go back to here oh here is the cleaning out brush so that was right down there oh that would have been I wasn't looking for the slime packets. I might have missed that. I'm going to put that straight into this recycling. So that is the cleaning out brush if you do wish to make slime within them. Is it behind here? Ah! Goodness gracious me. Oh, no. Ooh, wow, that's a really cool container. 
I like that container backdrop. I could make something out of that. You know, if you don't, can't re recycle it, reuse it. <laughs> I am all about reusing. So we're going to open up her and see if slime packets come with it. Because if you look on the back, it has all about how you can feed llama friend, magically poop slime, add magic so sparkly, Bonnie and Bianca. Is the slime ingredient already in her? That I'm going to check. I haven't actually seen that. I did not see that in the previous videos. If it is inside her, I'm interested, but I won't know until I get to the ingredients. Let's get to the front here. Hello, perfect. Hey, Pearly, you are so incredibly beautiful. Let's take off your face mask. Isn't this a gorgeous doll? Ignore the slime element. I keep bringing it up because I'm not a slime fan. And this is a beautiful, beautiful doll. Now, for her price, she should be a beautiful doll. But she is completely and utterly stunning. Ah, this explains it. <laughs> here are the slime elements. They did what I wish they had done with the unicorns, which is incorporated all the slime elements into one bag. I think this is a far better choice MGA. It just stops a lot of the, um, uh, the mess, basically, from the first one. That is a very clever move. I'm going to use this to make the slime in her cup, which is, if you don't want to destroy your toy, follow the directions at the end. <laughs> the cup is much easier to clean. Trust me on this. Back to Pearly. Back to Pearly. Let's get Pearly out of here. How do I do this? Okay, a quick snip of the wires around her head. I'm just going to get up the last accessory. This is the toilet, which effectively she is meant to poop into, and the feeding tray. So, this little insert in here you can take out and from the first video it's also meant to be a feeding tray which I'm assuming they're going to use the same sort of technique in this one. Not a fan but one thing I do want to check is it the same size as the unicorns? It is exactly the same toilet as the unicorns so if you do buy one um, second hand uh, from a lot or something like that the unicorn toilet will work for Pearly as well. Ah, she is so beautiful. I'm going to bring her up. Her joints are nowhere near as stiff as the unicorn, so that's cool. She only has the five basic points of articulation. No, she does not have the five basic points. She has four basic points of articulation because her head cannot move, of course, because it's needed to stay in the one position for the slime tubes. She only has arm movement at the shoulder and movement for the legs at the waist. Let's take a look at her beautiful face. It's hard to get her all in there because her horn is so high and she has these gorgeous ears. I just want to bring up the dream baby doll eyes which means they have a depth effect so effectively they're done to give a glass eye, imitate glass eyes. On the inside under the plastic is where the pupil and iris is and then the white part of the eye is over the top which gives it a depth. It's absolutely gorgeous. She has rooted eyelashes, lovely and soft. Painted underneath is more eyelashes with a dark pink eyeshadow. She has the same silvery glitter over those eyelashes and under her eye just to give her that extra bit of sparkle. How beautiful is she? <laughs> She's gorgeous. She has a different muzzle to the unicorn, a more llama-like one, whereas the unicorn nostrils are on the side, her nostrils are in the middle with a part down the center here. Same kind of smiley face. I love, love, love that face. Then she has twirls, of course, because of all her wool. So rather than the unicorns, which have long flowing hair, she has plastic twirls. And then it's coming off on my fingers. So it is going to come off on your fingers. So if you do want your llama to stay pristine, I'd say handle her on her t-shirt, etc. Is If you do have to basically touch parts with glitter on, just know if you do it too much, you are going to get you know, those weird sort of shiny bits where there's no glitter because it's been handled so much it gets taken off. Look at all this. I'm speaking all this as an adult toy collector, so this isn't for kids who are just going to 
open it up, think it's the most cutest thing in the entire world, and basically, ah, oh, she's so cute, rub the back of her head and stuff like this. <laughs> Look at it though. Oh my goodness, all the sparkle, all the cuteness. It's almost too much, almost too much. Then she has the golden horn and the big ears here with little fluff also coming out of them in a slightly deeper pink. Beautiful. Coming down to a t-shirt here. These t-shirts are very easy to get on and off. They have a separation under the arms. So they basically just go over the top and clip around with a opening at the back. They are plastic. She has sparkle in red in the middle of her t-shirt there. So cute. <laughs> Little white t-shirt. Coming down to her release valve here, which is what allows her once pressed in to make her poopsie. Make her poopy. She has her horns, uh, her hoofs, I should say, in a shimmery pink with a white around the edge to emphasize them. Same on here. There is a white around the edge so they don't get lost into one pink. Down to her hoofs here. I love, love, love how they've done the hoofs on her. So it goes down to a pink wool to here, then a white, a white shimmer around here, and then little pink little pink hoofs at the end. How cute is that? She has her little heart poopsie area down there. Let's have a look in her back mechanism. Now her back mechanism, did they change it after all the dramas with the unicorn? No, they did not. I mean, I know what what is meant what it's meant to be on, but I found the instructions severely deceptive in the first one, which um caused problems. <laughs> If you're looking for something authentic, as there are fake poopsies on the market, there is 2009 MGA printed behind her neck here. This is her body chamber, which holds all the slime. And again, it doesn't really mean much to me, as I'm not going to be making it within her. I don't want to ruin her, especially since she is covered in glitter. But that being said, I might do a bit of uh, rubbing against her glitter with this. Let's bring her legs slightly forward and get on this gorgeous nappy. Oh my goodness, I hope they bring out clothing lots. I really, really hope they bring out clothing lots. How cute is she? Pearly is adorable. Oh my goodness. Now pink and red is not something that you tend to class together with fashion, but it actually works with her. It actually works quite well. I think it's because of pearly red rather than a um, a light red so it actually works quite well isn't she beautiful now I'll make her slime in her cup at the end let's check out Bonnie Blanca which is the doll that I have a double up of oh my goodness gracious me let me put Pearly aside and bring up Bonnie come here girl the magic words open sesame Ooh. So I'm going to be very surprised if this is not Pearly, <laughs> if this is not, sorry, Bonnie. Oof, it's Bonnie! Bonnie is a Stranger Things tribute. It's amazing. I love the show Stranger Things. My daughter watched the show Stranger Things with her dad and she loves it. So we actually, if you've seen on my Instagram, we brought like a little 11, an articulated 11. Absolutely loves it. It's up on her favourite shelf. Before we look at Bonnie though, we are going to look at her accessories. Okay, starting at the top this time, we'll go to the bottle first off. Snip, 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 snip. I just want to point out these are recyclable bags, so make sure they go in the recyclable <laughs> in the recyclable box. Oh, I just want to get the face so it's in line with the picture. There we go. Her cup is white frosting with an orange twirl. Very happy to be drunk. <laughs> drink me. I'm delicious. And then we have a little glitters. So it looks like she's eating pizza in a toga. Now I'm thinking this is an American brand of some sort that I am not familiar with. I don't know what little, little glitters is, but something that I adore about the Poopsie line that re caters more towards the adults than the children, in my opinion, is they take little, um, little funny pokes at other popular food brands and drinks, etc. It's got the same sort of starry effect across the bottle here. 
And this is obviously Bonnie eating some pizza. Good on you, Bonnie. I love pizza. All right, so we know that this is the feeding stick. I'm just gonna check that they've kept with the gold theme. Open that up. Yep, they have, but I won't bring it up as we've already looked at that. We know there is the cleaning stick down here. So we'll just get that out. Let's bring up the next surprise. Come on. Yank, yank, yank. Oh, this one ripped open. <laughs> Saves me cutting it. We have a little blue measuring cup. The measurements are five mils and 25 mils. On to the next one. All right, so this is the keychain. Ooh, so I wonder whose keychain has been has been glitified. I didn't open up any of the accessories on the other Bonnie, so I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's Oopsie's keychain. Now this is, if you watched my um, video, the factory actually made a mistake and gave me, with Oopsie, Starlight's keychain. So I got two Starlights in the first video. But this is the color that is Oopsie's keychain is meant to be. And it looks absolutely gorgeous, glitified. So incredibly cute. Next is the big diaper. I wonder what's gonna her color her diaper is gonna be, because her top's obviously a tribute to Stranger Things. What is her diaper gonna be? I can't remember. Oh, it's a uh, white with blue tints to it. I'll bring this up so you can see it. So there is a white across the top and slowly, like a spray paint, down into a light blue. That's really cute with, of course, gold pins to match her horn. Let's get Bonnie out of the box. Okay, sweetheart, let's snip the one thing holding you in, which is around your neck. Can I get to it? Ah! <laughs> Can I get to it? it, it this, this is making it go sideways rather than snip through it. I did it! All right, pull her out. You are so cute. And we have her slime mixture, which we'll make up soon. Put the aside for recycling or reusing. I'm not sure. I love the cylinder shape, but I don't know exactly what I'll do with it right now. Take her face plane off. Oh, I've seen you already, sweetheart, but you're just so beautiful. I'm going to put the poop toilet aside. Oh my goodness, look at this. Bring your legs down. Again, the joints are nowhere near as stiff as the unicorns when I got them. She is in a pearly white with white glitter all over, white and blue glitter all over her body. Let's have a look at her eyes. She has the same dark pink eyeshadow. Um, Bonnie, I keep calling, I keep messing up their names. Bonnie has the same white per, uh, eyeshadow as Pearly. I'm going to get that right. <laughs> get it right, Lisa. For goodness sake, people are going to get so confused. You're already confused. The same glitter effect, the same dream doll eyes, apart from these are in a blue rather than uh, pearl. These are in a purpley blue. These are just in shades of blue. Sorry, I'll get in the middle there. Her muzzle is a... What would you call that? A eggshell white shimmer. So it is a different white to her face and her fluff, so to speak. Very, very cute. She has the gold horn. I love how they make the ears so dominant on these characters. Quite often ears get downplayed and characters are fine, but I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're so loud and proud up there. You can see the shimmer in the whites and the blues. Cute. Down to here, she has her little tail. She's going to point out the tail. To the front, you'll see that her hoofs are in a silver, metallic silver. I always got to remind myself to put it into the middle of the camera because I look off to the side. <laughs> the way I'm set up, I look off to the side and I keep pulling her off to the side. I apologize, I do do that in my videos. And then the Stranger Things wording, instead of Stranger Things, it says sparkly things. Isn't that cool? So, so incredibly cool. Stranger Things, if you have not seen it, you need to see it. It, uh, My girl's a tween, she's 11, absolutely loved it. And she's she's not a horror fan like I, I am Blaker, 
Blake just watched um, the second It movie <laughs> with my Pennywise, my Pennywise doll. <laughs> But yeah, Astra would not be watching that. She would be scared stiff. <laughs> Though she did watch the remake of the Chucky movie and she actually enjoyed it. But uh, Stranger Things she could take. Stranger Things was really, really cool. Let's get this up and over. Oh my goodness, pushy, pushy, pushy. Ta-da! Easy. <laughs> I made a right meal of it. But this is something I, I feel with toys of this value. You need, whether you're buying it for yourself as an adult because you know the value of it, or you're buying it as a child, you need to make them understand that these things are not cheap. And a great lesson in life is if you take care of your things, they last for a very long time. Just a little thing that as a mummy collector I instilled in my children very early and I've been grateful for it. They have pristine toys from when they were babies. Other mothers can't understand it. Like, how is your Woody doll so beautiful and new still? Because he didn't throw it across the room. <laughs> how So, let's get these little sweethearts moved aside and see what their slime is. Okay, so I've set up the two different slime packets on each side. I've put um, Bonnie's cup on this side. I've put Pearlie's cup on this side. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> whose was whose. I just kind of threw them down. I was like, uh, which one went to each unicorn? But it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to show how to make it. Now I'm going to do this without reading the instructions because I think I'm a bit of... I think I remember from the unicorns the way in which it does. It might be a fail, which will be entirely my fault for not following the instructions. But... I want to test myself. I'm going to test myself. So, I only want one of each. The rest can go to the big pooey baton. So I want a unicorn shimmer. I want unicorn sparkle. I want unicorn magic and unicorn food. And all the rest to the side. Starting off with unicorn shimmer. This is how I do it. Just stick it all in there. Unicorn shimmer. Pat, 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 pat. Then some unicorn food. Now this did work for me with the unicorns. And as I said, I can't claim an MGA fail if this all goes terribly south. <laughs> I've got the packet in there. Get all that shimmer off. Go shimmer, go. <laughs> Put in some unicorn food. Nom, 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 nom. Into the same thing. Now the cups have a 25 mil line, but remembering from the unicorn one, you feed effectively 30 mils all over. So I just filled it to the top of the line and pour it in. Just like that. And then we close it up. Put your finger on the top and get ready to shake for a minute. Okay, after a minute of shaking it, we then pour it into the cup. Sorry if you can hear roadworks outside. They're working right outside my house. Let's get all the drips from the top into there. And my cat has decided to attack some packaging behind me. Let's get it all poured into there. All right. Now on the instructions with the unicorn one, it said to set it for 20 minutes. Um, with the sparkly critters, I think 30 minutes was what I left it for. With this slime, I find that an hour brings it up to the consistency I like, where it's not in any way booger slime. Let's see if I do it right and we'll get to the next stage. I'm just going to finish over here. Pearly's one. And we'll be back in an hour. So I'm back after an hour and let's test the consistency. Perfect. And this one here, I'll do it a bit closer up so you can see. So it's not watery uh, like it was when it came out of the cup. And it's not too solid. It is malleable. So after you get it to this stage, um, you get your unicorn magic. And just dump it on top there. Because, as you can see from my tablecloth in the accident with um, <laughs> oopsie starlight. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if some of this falls on the tablecloth. Doo -doo -doo. Dumping, dumping, dumping. 
then it's just a case of grabbing the side of the slime and folding it over much like an ob omelette. So if you take it, do some dabbing, fold it over to catch the dabbing in, do some more dabbing, pull, fold, pull, fold, dab, dab, dab. There will still be some stickiness in your slime, so this extra powder basically and this extra unicorn here, <laughs> picking off the table core, the unicorn here, just makes it to this lovely consistency where it doesn't stick too much to your fingers, where it's not like booger slime. I can't stand booger slime. Absolutely cannot stand it. I don't know why anyone would want to have watery slime in their house. <laughs> dab, pull, fold. Dab, pull, fold. So I'm just going to do this over for a good minute until we get to you get to this consistency where it is a shimmer, where it has the stickiness to it like slime should, but it also retains its shape. So it's not coming off on my fingers, it stays together very well. If I put it on the mat, it comes off, picks up anything on top of the mat, but it doesn't stick to it or, or stain it in any sort of way. So this is what you want basically, this glittery shimmery slime. Not a fan of slime, but that's what you want. Now, I'm going to guess that this is actually, hmm, that this is Bonnie slime rather than um, Pearly's. I'm not too sure because the other one looks like it's going to, once I get this unicorn magic into it, come out as a pink. And Pearly has blue, which is more close to purple. We'll see. I'm going to do this one now too. So now we have a, almost with a sheen of gold to it, red slime. Again, you can see it's not sticking to my fingers. All the stuff on my fingers is from when you first start mixing and it's got powder all over it and glitter all over it. It's not the slime. So I am guessing that this is Pearly's slime. I think this is definitely her slime. It's the right color combination. It's very, very cute. So, if it's not sparkly enough, what you can do is they do give you unicorn sparkle. Now, I don't want to open up, actually, after a thought, I don't want to open up two extra packets of unicorn sparkle to throw onto the slime because you're only meant to put in a little bit of the packet. But I have this open packet of unicorn sparkle over here from when I did the unicorn. So I'm going to put some moons into pearlies. And I think the other one was stars, yes, and some slimes into bonnies. And then I'm just going to mix them through very quickly. So now you can see on top of having all the glitter and shimmer, you actually have some moons and shimmer going through it. So it's just a way of making the slime extra cute. Another little element you can add. You don't have to add the rainbow um, the unicorn sparkle if you don't. But it just adds that little bit of cutesy to it. And the slime is good, not runny, not sticky, just right. I much prefer these stars. Look at that, how cool it is. It's like a starry night as you pull it through. Yeah, I much prefer the stars to the um, the moons, which is, as I said, are the unicorn sparkle. So I don't know which ones come with the llamas. Hopefully some more stars. It's just so cool. <laughs> But that is Bonnie's one. Let's do a flyby with the unicorns again. Here are my two new girls. I love them so much. The Poopsie range is fantastic. I hope that they keep on making different animals in this large size to correspond with the little sparkly critters and then the little cutie tooties so you can make an entire family. Love the keychains, love the bottle. I'm not a fan of slime. I'm going to say it in every video. I'm not a fan of slime. It just isn't my thing. It's something that, quite honestly, is <laughs> it's a little gross to me still. Even though it's they've made it quite fun to make. Not inside. You do not want to go through the process of cleaning one of these out. I know that. I know a mother who actually did it now. And she, <laughs> she said, I wish I'd watched your video first. Um... 
yeah, it, it is not a happy thing to clean out the dough. If you want to do it, that's your call. I just prefer to make it in the cups. It's easy peasy. And the slime itself is actually quite pleasant once it's made. If you love poopsies, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love poopsies, keep tuned. Uh, next, I'm going to be opening the poopsie dolls. You can see all the unicorns I've opened in previous videos there, so you can check those out. I've also opened the sparkly critters, their complete series one. I think I'm in series two. I either have the lot or I'm missing one or two. Um, I have to go back to my checklist and complete, and I will show that entire set on my channel when it is complete, as I have not done so yet. <laughs> But that will be coming up probably in a future. Not on this week, though. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I am an adult toy collector. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more videos about dolls and toys. Vintage and now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you for now. Bye-bye.